Welcome to video 15 in series 3 and in this video I'll give you a really brief intro into materials and color. And what I'll do is just make a really basic material and then show you how to uh, change the color and transparency of that material through code. Alright, so first of all I'm going to make a new material which I'll apply to the wall here. Uh, but I'll make a folder and I'll just call it My Materials. All right, and I'll just create a new material and just give it any old name. I'll just call it wall. And this is the standard shader that comes with, uh, well, that's in Unity 5. And uh, it's really simple to use. And uh, all it is is, um, well, it has a color. And if you have textures, then you slot them into the various places where you need them. Now, I'm not an artist, so I can't really show you that kind of stuff, how to effectively use materials, but I can show you how to use it for really simple stuff like this. Uh, so first of all, it's currently set to rendering mode opaque, uh, and you can have a look. The uh, white color is, of course, made of RGB 255s, and then an alpha channel 255. Now, for a solid uh, material, an opaque material, uh, it doesn't really make uh, oh, any difference, actually it makes no difference visually, but I'm going to set a transparent material. Now a transparent material will actually change, uh, so if I can just drag the material directly onto the wall like this. Uh, you can also uh, click on the wall and uh, just change the material here under the renderer. You can actually slot it on there, but I'll just do, do it here. There we go. Uh, okay, so coming back to the material itself, uh, it, as a transparent material, you control its transparency using the alpha channel. So just something to note. And we're going to do that through code. Okay, so the script to edit is uh, none other than the walkthrough wall script here. And all I'm going to do is just um, access the uh, material on the renderer and then just change the color. This is what I'll do to start off with, okay? So here we go. I'll say get component renderer dot material dot color is assigned to it color dot green okay for example and uh, let me just take that back over here color dot white okay and then come back here to unity and then hit play and when I walk into the uh, trigger, there you go, the wall turns a nice bright green. When I walk out, it turns back into white. Okay, really simple stuff. Now, that is just one way to set the color. Now, if you wanted to set uh, more detail, like you wanted the color to be really specific, the way you do that is to make a new variable. So private color, uh, my color, is equal to new color and there's four uh, bits of information you need to pass in so the red value now remember in the editor inside unity it's 255 but here in code it's a value between 0 and 1 it's a float uh, so my I'm gonna do a sort of a pale green or or yeah I'll do a pale green I guess so 0 0.5 uh, for red a 1 for green a 0 0.5 for blue and I'll set I'll set it for now to just a uh, 1 uh, for the alpha channel and then just uh, apply that okay and then all I need to do is go back here and say uh, my color okay and if I hit play you'll see the difference in the color there you go it's a pale green okay and I can't see through the wall so I can go ahead and change the alpha channel setting. So let's say it's only a third opaque. So I'll come back into Unity, hit play, and when I walk through, oh, there you go. See, you can see that the wall is see-through now. Oh, so really, really simple stuff. Now that's only one way of uh, setting uh, the color. Now in Unity, uh, there's also a... Um, a property called set color and this allows you to set the color not just like the main the albedo color you can also set other stuff like the specular color specularity is like um, uh, the sort of shiny color that's on an object 
Uh, then there's emission and reflect color. The only one I'm using is, well, this one. It's such a simple uh, object that I have a simple material. There's, <laughs> I don't have any fancy textures or anything for it. Uh, but why don't I go ahead and use this instead? So I'll come back here and say, uh, instead of dot color, I'll say set color. And I'll delete all that. And I'll put a bracket here. Now I have to say what is it that I'm setting. So it's the primary color. This you must enter in this tag as per what's written here. Uh, we must do that. OK. And then uh, what is the color? And the color is simply my color, which I defined above. All right. Uh, so that'll work too. So now if I hit play, uh, jump in, and then walk into the trigger. Yep, same result. OK, so that was really simple. Uh, you've seen a little bit, just a really brief bit of uh, materials, how to apply them, how to change the color by code. And you saw that I set it to transparent. Let's say I set it to opaque. OK, let me just do that and show you the difference. Of course, now in opaque, it does. It simply does not become transparent. doesn't matter what I do to the alpha channel. It ain't going to uh, change transparency. The actual material uh, must have a transparent rendering mode. OK, well, that's enough for this video, a very brief intro into materials and colors. In the next video, I'll show you something much more interesting. Now we'll get into instantiating. We're going to have a little grenade, and it's going to be able to uh, do stuff. All right, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.